G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here with Connor Rogers and we are going to discuss the biggest talking point in in the season probably. Yeah, that's right. This is um, what in five years time when people look back on this season, I think this will be what people remember. Guard out would suggest that his, his teeth are potentially loose or he's having a, a real issue with his jaw because otherwise you'd think the mouth yes. guard would have come out. So I just want to get your, your first initial thoughts on it. Um, my initial thoughts on the incident was that um, it was he intentionally threw a closed fist, yeah. made the high contact, severely injured, therefore he has to spend a long time out of the game. Seven to eight weeks is my thought. Seven to eight weeks, that's big. That's bigger than the Barry Hall. So I, I, yeah, I think Barry Hall got seven weeks and I'd give Gaff actually maybe eight or nine, only because that was 10 years ago, the Barry Hall incident. And I think as a society, we've become that much more conscious of um, formerly the king hit, now the coward punch. Yeah. So I think it does need to also reflect society's outlook on it and be given that extra one to two weeks than what Barry Hall got. Do you think it's a king here? Well, Brayshaw wasn't suspecting the punch. He didn't have time to brace for the punch. So I suppose by definition, it's, yeah, a coward's punch. Yeah. Um, because, you know, it's not like they were face-to-face -face in a fight. They both knew they were throwing fists. It came out of nowhere. So by definition, I think it is. So you, you would say an unsuspecting punch is a coward's punch? Yeah. Good question. Not, yeah. Because I was almost saying <clears throat> we're at a stage where just knocking someone out with a punch, regardless of behind or in front, is they're sort of categorizing all punches as coward punches because everyone's sick of the damage that one fist can do. Do you reckon there's a punch that people can just accept these days that just... Oh, I think if they were face to face and just angry and like, you know, going at it, maybe even jumping punches, you could you could have time to almost brace. You know that a punch could possibly come. Yeah. Um, and I think that might be a little bit different in this circumstance. Brayshaw had no reason to suspect that a fist was coming for his face, so didn't have time to adjust. Is it a dog act? No. You don't think so? No. Why? So, so um, I think Brayshaw, uh, sorry, Gaff. From what I've seen, he was just about in tears straight afterwards. He was sitting on the bench. He was completely remorseful. He's had this clean record. I don't think he's a shit bloke that did a dog act. I think he's a good bloke that made a mistake. Yeah. Um, and I think he deliberately <laughs> threw a closed fist through it. And I have no doubt that his intention was to get him in the shoulder or chest region. Yeah. I, I highly doubt if you told Andrew Gaff 30 seconds before that incident that you're going to break this kid's jaw and displace his teeth. He would even think about doing that. But then again, it's, it's another moral issue <laughs> where like, he has done that though. So it's sort of like he has thrown a fist and whether his intention wasn't to do it, he actually has. So people are coming across as if like, people are saying like he has broken an 18 year old's jaw. That like in itself, punching someone in the face and breaking their jaw is a pretty thug act yeah. without the context of what it is. So it's, it's sort of like, does your intention change what a result from is? A, um, from a tribunal's <clears throat> perspective, it, I don't think you can change it a bit. I think it has to be you yeah. threw a closed fist, you clocked him in the face, he's out for the season, broken jaw, broken teeth, therefore you get eight weeks or seven weeks, whatever it might be. Yep. But I think from a fan's perspective, looking at Gaff as a person, someone like if you don't know him personally, I don't know him personally, no. um, just looking at him morally and as a person, um, I think we have to put context into it that they were playing golf. Did you ever see that? Yeah, they were playing golf like two or three weeks ago. The two blokes don't hate each other, they're mates. <laughs> yeah. Garth was completely sure, couldn't regret it anymore, and I believe in genuine remorse. Almost a Steve Smith sort of operation. Out of frustration, he's thrown a fist. He's accidentally connected in the sweetest way possible. Um, and I, I think he was just shattered that he's just hurt. He's hurt a kid. People have been comparing it to the Barry Hall incident. I think it's slightly different in that Barry Hall, I feel, had the intention to hurt. That's what he wanted to do. I'd also say Barry Hall had a history of boxing. Yeah. Like he was a boxer, he was a fighter and and been reported a million times exactly for, that. for fighting. So. Um whereas Gaff, you know, just a clean dude who he, he was getting tagged and he had seen a million times during the game. People are getting tagged and they throw that arm out to the yeah. chest, to the arm. Well and Tom Mitchell weeks earlier threw a pretty lethal looking elbow into the back of Todd Goldstein's head. Obviously Todd Goldstein didn't get injured. It got a back like a part of the head that was, might be stronger or whatever. Um, so people were sort of comparing that act of like that frustration 
that that lash out, and then sort of comparing that like, oh well, Tom Goldstein, I don't recall him getting injured or missing weeks for it. So then Tom Mitchell gets off. It's it's unlucky that it's clocked Brayshaw the way it has, um, and it's almost an accident. But I, I don't like people saying that Brayshaw was soft. I don't like people saying he deserves it. I don't like when people say he went lower. Yeah. Like he didn't go lower. To, to milk a free or anything. He didn't did. deliberately go lower. He did go lower to change the direction. And yeah. I think that was where Gaff missed. He he went to throw the punch. Ga- um, Brayshaw went lower and that's why he clocked him in the face. It's not Brayshaw's fault. It's unlucky. And ultimately it's Gaff's fault because he was the one that chose to throw the clenched fist. Red card. Do you think it should come in? Uh, yeah. I'm a big fan. Imagine, like, imagine this was a grand final. Richmond v Collingwood, first minute of the game, someone belts Dustin Martin, he's off for the whole game, and Collingwood have 22 fifth plays. Needs to be a red card sent off. Looking at that sort of act, would you change your mind in picking someone up like that? Like I said, if, he, if it was Barry Hall or someone with a big history, like a Campbell Brown or something, it, I wouldn't take him. I wouldn't want that culture of the club. Yeah. You can just tell that Gaff's a good bloke that's made a mistake. I, I think that's pretty obvious as well. Yeah. Tribunal can't take that into consideration. It has to be you chose to throw a clenched fist, you got him in the face, he's out forever, or you know, for the rest of the season, that's seven or eight weeks. Yeah. But us looking at him, we need to go, you're a good bloke that's made a mistake, we need to forgive him, welcome him back to the footy world. Um, and perhaps, you know, I'm scared that he'll come back and he'll just get booed by 100,000 people. Yeah. Um, and, you know, made to feel like shit when it, all he did was make a mistake and we all do that from time to time. Anyway, guys, um, a, a little bit different. I don't usually put my two cents in when it comes to uh, topics and, and football stuff, but it's just a big issue and it's, it's a moral issue as well. So I thought I'd get Rog on cam and we'd have a bit of a chat. This could almost be a really good sort of weekly show, couldn't it? On the couch, where you just have blokes talking about footy on a couch. That'd make for a great TV show. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's anything in just people talking footy on, like, on a couch. I don't really, I don't think. No. No. A tribunal tip. Uh, I think he should get eight weeks. Um, one more than Barry Hall, but I think he'll get seven, same as Barry Hall. I reckon he'll get seven. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.